Hello, thank you very much for joining me again. So, just off uh, off camping at the moment. Just gonna have a little butchers around some of these beautiful spots in Geneva while I'm on route, just to give you a little view of what Geneva's like if never you've been. So another angle for for the cathedral there. I used to work at school just in behind there. And this is a an old prison. And down here, an incredible view. You can see the jet though, just there. One of my favorite little spots around. Beautiful little bench here, you can just chill. Come up, play a bit of ping pong, a bit of chess, but the views. Let me show you that. Incredible. Incroyable. So I'm literally just gonna go down there, show you the Reformation wall. Then I'll take the bus from here up to Champel. So one of Geneva's finest of spots. There we have it. The old Reformation Wall. Some nice bit of nice bit of history there. Beauty of a park. Got a uni just there. Down there you got all the chess boards and ping pong and everything like that. Over here you got got the wall. There is something quite beautiful about it. So this little spot is pretty extraordinary actually because we're literally just in the middle of Champel. You've got this beauty old tower here. I think it's like a watchtower or something. We'll have little butchers around. So you can see these old railings it used to be ways down to the water in that from here but not anymore i'm going to get into a better spot just over there where it gives you a nice beautiful view across Nice bit of water. 
So now I'm just down near the Av. So this river here, you've probably seen on my camping in a bin bag video. This river here joins the Ron at the junction, which is really cool because you've got two totally different color waters and they kind of merge together, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm literally just gonna keep following down the river and find somewhere to nestle up for tonight. So I've been down this area before, but usually I've started on the other side when I have came down. I just noticed there's a path probably going up to somewhere near the Tour de Champelle. So yeah, I could have had a little bit of a less lesser of an excursion, but here we are. Now tell me that this is not one of the cutest little bridges you've ever seen. Even when you go through it in the train, it's such a such a beauty of a of a little bridge. Got all these little kind of beachfront bits here. You've got like um, walkways down here. You can see people walking their dogs, stuff like that. Such an absolutely majestic place. And I've said it before in videos. People always um, assume that Geneva is just going to be obviously a big, big, thriving city, which it is, but you've got so much nature. Wait, that opens up. See the view of the mountains there. almost that sand around here there used to be some some entry point to the water there if you look carefully you can see the Tour de Champelle just there and I'm not 100% certain, but I believe that this may be the start to the trail, the old trails that used to lead up there. So uh, yeah, I, f I believe that's the kind of front gate, so to say, but like I say, that is total guesswork. So you can take my word for that if you want. I'll do a little bit of research when I get back and just verify that. So, just popping under this bridge, you've got a little island there. And I'm just gonna go and check out this beach to this side and then I'm gonna come back, go across the bridge and pop to the other side of the island there. So I'm gonna go back down and cross that bridge in just a moment. I just wanted to come and show you that because there's this uh, island in the middle, you can see it more from this angle. And just to show you this little kind of beach area, mountains up there in behind, so I'm gonna go over to the other side, follow that across and the road keeps going up, so I should be able to tuck in somewhere in the distance there. Excited for that, I'm gonna have a little, a little soak up of that view and then get across there. to the side of that beach you've got the uh, Bout de Monde which is where you have like all the football terrains and everything like that really really epic spot this Bout de Monde basically means end of the world so yeah as you can imagine quite a bit of nature in that around you can see that island isn't so accessible maybe if I go the other side there's a bit that drops down but I'm pretty sure 
going to have to get a kayak or swim that if you want to get on there. So, thinking I could possibly go next to that bit there and get under and onto that island, but honestly, it's, it's going to take quite a bit of bit of getting wet or getting a some buoyancy or something out. Definitely up for that one time though, definitely get around to doing that one. Ooh, little bit dicey on this one. Not the clearest of trails. So as I said, the road goes up and this one stays flat. can smell a smell a fire and see a bit of smoke over there I was just talking to the chap that you've seen there sat next to the fire for a while lovely guy Serge left me this as a little parting gift and I'm gonna pitch up just where he was just here should be nice and warm, a little bit flat, so yeah, absolutely buzzing for this. Look at that, absolute scenes out here. Up in the head torch game, Petzl, 13 francs that one, January sales, really, really good, absolute bargain. Bright out of Zed that, brilliant. Just over here, we've got some uh, Servola which are some traditionally Swiss uh, sausages that you can basically eat them straight out the pack if you wish. Personally, I prefer to heat them up for a, just a couple of minutes will do. These over here, some vice versa. These translate to white sausage. And yeah, really, really nice. Quite fatty those, but usually take about 10 minutes boiling as well. So I'm gonna put these on first and obviously these. Top that off with a little bit of mustard. And we're gonna have us a lovely little snackaroo, just cozied up next to this fire. With these white sausages, you just wanna take the skin off. Don't wanna be eating that one. Really, really nice, absolutely bang on they were. And uh, yeah, I'm basically just going to read my book for a little bit longer now. Just pop that one open, little Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Has anybody ever seen that before? I've never seen it, never in any UK shops or whatever. Seen it today, thought, yeah, you know what? Pick one of those up, we'll see what it tastes like. Little bit too sweet for my liking, but I'll still give it a good five, six out of 10. And we'll end tonight with a little bit of Yogi Night Night Tea. Door bien. It's all about those morning vibes. Beautiful. Morning coffee. Got some morning flames just warming up next to that. Very shortly, I'm going to be popping to Karusha. I'll show you that beautiful, beautiful little old town there. Absolutely stunning. Just going to have a little pot around so you can see the architecture, things like that. I really, really like it there, so I'm hoping that you'll think it's just as beautiful. Just going to finish this coffee up, pack this one up, and we'll hit the road.
let's get her packed up always leave it looking nice and clean found this one earlier as I went for a little exploration and this just around here I think someone's been using it as a tiny little oven but I thought that was pretty cool anyways off we trot just came across this bet there's a story behind that one of the cutest little places I've ever been such an amazing little spot that's nice pan of chocolate for the road look at it love these trees that lovely church such a beautiful old little town beautiful stuff I thought those windows are well cool. Carouge Museum. A real true Swiss vibe around here. And now I'll leave you with the beauty that is Carouge Theatre.